sausages baked in Yorkshire pudding, but with a twist. Classical British sage and onion toad in the hole. Mmm. So yes, hello everyone, it's time to make Toad in the Hole, a British classic dish, sausages and Yorkshire pudding. We're going to be slightly different though, because we're going to add some sage, some rosemary and some onions to the mix. So I'm going to make the batter first. I haven't filmed this, so do forgive me. But for the batter, you will need to locate the three quarter cup line on your measuring vehicle or your jug, whatever you're using. Fill up to that line with eggs, and with flour and with milk. Obviously, do it individually. If you do the flour first, then fill it up with eggs, then fill it up with milk. Put everything into a bowl, add a tablespoon of oil, some salt and pepper, whisk it as much as you possibly can for a couple of minutes, sieve it just in case you haven't got any lumps out, and then fridge it for about an hour. Once it's been in the fridge an hour, it's ready for us to add to our pan which will contain the onions and the sausages. So let's crack on, shall we? Let's crack on with the dish itself. So in a 12 inch frying pan, I've got a massive chunk of pork fat, a sliced onion, some fresh rosemary and some fresh sage. I'm gonna stir fry that for just three minutes. And then I'm gonna throw in a dozen chipolata sausages. They're chipolatas because they're only small. Eat sausages about an ounce and a quarter. And I'm using, I'm going to give those about three or four minutes in the pan. And I'm using a 90% pork sausage with the addition of black pepper seasonings and a little bit of cereal in there too. Um, you can use any sausage you want. Let me just say that. Once you've given the sausages about five minutes on a medium heat, remove them. Turn the heat off at this stage, by the way. And now we're going to add our Yorkshire pudding batter that we spoke about earlier. Yes, it's that same batter that I failed to film me mixing, so my apologies for that. Add that batter, and then, if you're doing it my way, put the sausages back in. You can add the batter to the sausages and not remove them, but as I said, I wanted to make it rather pretty to look at. Now this goes in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes, and the temperatures will be in the description below, and look at that, what a treat really is beautiful this will serve four very hearty appetites i'm sure it'll serve more if uh, if appetites aren't as big as ours in my house but there it is i've garnished it with a little bit of rosemary in the middle uh, i'm going to serve this with some fresh vegetables and a pile of crushed potato i didn't mash it i boiled my potatoes in the skins crushed it with some butter and some black pepper and salt i'm going to pop the yorkshire pudding uh, with the sausages on top pop the toad on the top of the potato cover it with wonderful gravy there is an onion gravy recipe on my channel by the way that will match this dish absolutely perfectly so crispy on the outside soft in the middle yorkshire pudding with wonderful baked sausages cooked in the mix what a truly beautiful dish to sit down to. So the only thing left to say now is, may I ask if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, or even share. And when you do subscribe next door to that, you'll see a bell. If you press that, that will notify you when I post my next video. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Chef Archie Pie, sending you all lots of love and my best wishes. It's now time for me to get stuck in to this rather smashing sage and onion Yorkshire pudding with sausages, my very, very nice toad in the hole. See you all very, very soon.